Oh Fridays. Guys, that's a genuine, it's a real, it's a factory. It's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's a Yamaha DT1 MX genuine GYT kitted from the factory. Holy shit! And it's being piloted by John Michelle Bell. Just kidding. So we just spent the better part of the last year doing a frame off restore on this DT1. It is a 1971 model, last year the badge tank. The seniors got the, uh, the work order, the full ticket. I will go over with you shortly. Got a brand new paint job. The motor's just been rebuilt. The wheels were taken apart, completely polished, bespoke, featured. Listen to this thing. Oil injection works. What's happening guys? This is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. I hope your quarantine session is going half as fun as ours is. We're having an absolute blast here. Junior and I get to ride all these awesome classic bikes. This is a very, very special bike uh, for a, a lot of different reasons. Stick with me. We'll go inside and go over the whole work order on this. This is a full frame up restoration of the first year Yamaha 1971 DT1 MX. This model is the also the first and last of its kind. After this year, they went to a purpose-built motocross bike. This is based off the DT, the actual Yamaha DT 68, 69, 70, 71, the most popular dirt bike, enduro bike ever to, to be made from that era. And, and there's a lot of reasons why. One, this particular bike, this DT1, is an extremely valuable classic machine. It has a lot of features that other bikes in this day couldn't match. Number one, the reliability, starting with the crank. The crank bearings on this are twice the size of a normal 250. They're super durable. The clutch and transmission and bottom ends on these bikes are absolutely indestructible. So moving up from there, they took the DT bottom end and put a GYT, Yamaha GYT, that's the genuine Yamaha tuning uh, division, uh, cylinder, carburetor, head, and exhaust pipe. The cylinder is actually kind of a work of art. They were hand corded and hand polished from the factory and it gave it a lot more horsepower than the regular DT. Then it also came with a much bigger carburetor, a 32 millimeter instead of the stock 28 and opened up air box. So the entire top end was a GYT kitted top end. Also, this is the first year of the 21 inch front wheel. They went from the 18 and 19 to the 21 inch and look at this wheel. It is absolutely stunning. This, this, um, this entire front end on this bike is pristine. If you're looking for a finer 71 DT1, well, good luck finding one in a crate because that's what you're going to need to do. Uh, we, we got this bike. Junior actually purchased at Ricerama from one of his friends. Who'd you buy this from? John Burkhart. And John's not going to believe it when he sees this thing. When we when we got this bike, uh, Kenny Kenny and I are big fans of the Yamahas. Junior, I think, had a little obsession, still does, with these 68 to 71, the badge tank models. And he bought this from John. It was a good core bike, the frame. The tank, everything was intact, but it needed a full restoration. And we bought this in September. We just finished it a couple days ago. That's it. Took us six months to do it. Um, sourcing all the parts is not easy. Seven on a months. Bike like this. What's seven, that? seven months. Seven months. Seven months. 
and I have all the work orders inside. We put an obscene amount of money into it. The paint job alone, we, we, we did not do this in-house. We do paint in-house, but we wanted this to be pristine. We, we outsourced this to our friend Eric in Rhode Island, um, who's the, probably the best metalworking guy I've, I've seen in the last 20 years. There's no Bondo on this tank. It's perfectly straight. He's a professional metal uh, magician, dent magician, and a painter. He applied the graphics and did the paint job. It was 1200 bucks. It wasn't cheap. It's using the best paint money can buy uh, from Marble Motors. The inside of the tank is just as clean as the outside. Um, just a stunning piece. Now this is a frame off nut and bolt restoration. By that, I mean it's taken right down to the frame. The frame is, is uh, cleaned, sanded, and repainted the original black color the engine is completely rebuilt and i'll go over the work order and parts list with you but the cases were split uh the crank bearings were replaced all the gaskets on the bottom end all the seals are brand new crank seals and the shifter seal and the kicker seal are all brand new the cases were cleaned and polished the hey. cylinder is bored third over with a brand new third over piston i have it's a, it's a if i remember correctly i read it from the work order a point zero zero three eight gap on the piston to the cylinder or point yeah i got it in the, in the book i'll read it to you Super tight, brand new top end board, third over. Uh, the ports were cleaned up. The carburetor was rebuilt. It's got a new air filter in it, and the exhaust is in excellent condition, which is a rare thing to find for a 1971 motocross bike. So I know you, what you guys are thinking. Uh, the the Yamaha um, purist, the DT1 MX came with the Stinger pipe. We didn't have one in our inventory, and the bike didn't come with the Stinger pipe. But it is a genuine DT1 MX uh, matching engine and frame decal so it is a stock enduro pipe um but the rest of the bike is genuine gyt original airbox as from from the factory so original um oil injection is is intact the original fender is intact we're gonna bring it inside and go off the work order so i don't repeat end up repeating myself twice which i is, you know i've hit my head a few times racing dirt bikes so hopefully you can relate but uh and sometimes the point needs to be hammered home a couple times anyways but these bikes are absolutely freaking bulletproof super reliable these, the European bikes uh, scoffed the European manufacturers CZ and Penton, uh, KTM, a few of the other ones, uh, Caraballa, scoffed at the Yamaha when they came out with this. Well, they weren't scoffing a few years later when they went out of business. Why? Because these were affordable, fast, just as fast as the European counterpart, but they didn't break. That's why I won 16 motocross championships. All the number one plaques hanging up inside there on Yamahas. I've never blown a motor on a Yamaha ever, and I beat the living shit out of my race bikes. So, um, they're built right, they're overbuilt, like I said, the crank bearings. And, and this model right here uh, goes back to the Yamaha tuning fork roots where the manufacturers built a bike to look right. Function didn't fo follow form with Yamaha. Yamaha, uh, being a piano manufacturer, wanted a motorcycle that was beautiful and they got that with this bike. I'm not taking all the blame for repeating ourselves because the food lady just came out with Junior's lunch and I don't know what, remember what I said at this point. So we're gonna bring it inside and go over the work order. Uh, and Junior's gonna eat his lunch probably, but just a lot of fun to ride. I rode these bikes. I had a 71, same year, GT80, most durable motorcycle I've ever owned. We, we literally used to take that bike and start riding at nine in the morning. We'd go through two, three tanks of gas in a day, ride it all day long for weeks on end until the chain would jump off the sprocket or we'd get a flat tire or something, but we never blew the motor and we rode the shit out of that. The whole lineup, the 80, the 125s, the 250s, rock solid bikes and to this day if you're looking for a vintage classic bike that you can own with no hassle no headaches that's going up in value buy this bike you don't get any better than this recurring vision of, you ever see that picture of Steve McQueen ripping through the desert with just jeans and a set of high points on with no jersey on, just an open face helmet and a set of glasses? Well, this is the kind of bike that, that you could recreate that on. If you want to go to mid-Ohio this summer and have the kickest ass bike that will get ride all week long with no problems and race it in motocross, hair scrambles, the enduro they have there, do the drag race, you can enter this thing in like six different events, even the trials event and the show and shine. Totally versatile bike. Bring it to MX Rewind at Unidilla and send it up Gravity Cavity. It's just an awesome piece. And they're super fun to ride and super durable. Um, starting at the front of the bike,
The uh, wheel is brand new. The front wheel is brand new. The hub, do a real close up on that hub. Get in there, you see the, the hub's been professionally polished as has the backing plate. It has a new front brake cable. The fork tubes, we bought a replacement set of fork tubes and had them professionally polished along with the uh, upper fork tubes here which are either NOS or um, a re-chrome, I'm not sure. But uh, the forks are in brand new condition. It has a brand new front fender, brand new correct number plate, brand new correct set of handlebars, new levers, new perch, new grips, new, new uh, kill button, new throttle tube, and new uh, grips, a new brake lever, along with a new perch and a new brake cable. So basically the entire front end is brand new and polished. The tank, $1,200 full custom top of the line paint job in the original color, along with the gold and black Yamaha badges. So um, I'm just gonna read down the, down the price, down the, down the work order. Brand new clutch cable, brand new brake cable, brand new upper throttle cable, new clutch perch, new levers, new fork boots, uh, the, the rubber uh, damp, uh, wipers, new handlebars, polished front forks, complete set, uh, new exhaust flange, new front and rear spoke sets, which are absolutely beautiful, uh, new air filter, new OEM Yamaha piston, third over with new OEM Yamaha third over rings, new head gasket, new base gasket, all uh, new front number plate and brackets, new front brake shoes, NOS, new fork seals and fluid, new chain, new front and rear sprockets, new classic tires, classic motocross tires by Kenda, uh, new tubes, front and rear, new rim strips, a new piston wrist pin, new spark plug, new gear oil, new gas, it's got BP racing to it, of course. New clutch uh, push rod seal, uh, new rear brake shoes, they're NOS brake shoes, Yamaha. No aftermarket stuff in here, all Yamaha NOS stuff. Two rim locks for the rear wheel, new ignition condenser, all new miscellaneous screws and hardware, um, new Bellray S17 injector oil, and a brand new kill switch. So, um, and that's just one page, there's, uh, there's a lot more to it. Um, a complete frame off rebuild and restoration on the bike. Um, so if you have any question about the bike, give us a call 860-454-7024. Um, pretty much obvious what was done in here from the pictures and the way it runs, but uh, you may have some questions, give us a call. Um, the gas tank has a new fuel pack on it in addition to being completely re restored inside and out. Um, it's got an RT uh, Yamaha uh, DC replica uh, MX front Yamaha DT MX front bender. So the front bender is brand new too. So Junior, you know a lot about these bikes, probably more than I do. You're kind of nuts about these things. You're behind the camera, but um, throwing your two cents on this bike here. What are your thoughts? Guys, the fit and finish, I hope that the video does the bike justice. But uh, frame up restores on Yamaha Enduros, you don't see too often when you do, they're bringing premium dollars to find a batch tank. Um, GYT kitted, uh, Genuine DT1 MX. Uh, matching numbers. With matching numbers, I mean, it, it's they're almost impossible to find. Um, and I know because I've looked obsessively for the last three years, and this is the first one that we've actually featured on the channel. A few things to note, um, the fenders were, were um, or at least the rear fenders were identical on the Enduro, um, as well as the MX. So the holes where the, uh, um, Right here, where a brake light would be are, yeah. are still present and so... And, and they're a little wavy, not because it's bent. That's how they welded them from the factory. You can see on, if you look on the inside of the fender here, take a look at the inside, Kenny. You can see where everything's tack welded together here and how it's built. That's why it's a little wavy on the outside. And, and later models, of course, they're plastic, but... Yeah, in, in the Enduro models, well, actually all the Yamaha frames had the turn signal mounts right there and they did not delete those for the MX version. So that's all correct. Shocks are brand new. Look at the, I mentioned the front wheel, I mentioned the rear wheel. Uh, the rear wheel is the original uh, rim. The front one's a new one. We reused the original rim, but re-spoked it, polished it, it looks brand new. The hub was polished. It's a lot of work to polish a hub inside and out. Brakes rebuilt. You can see the new brass fitting for the uh, grease fitting. Um, everything's just freaking pristine on this thing. I'm ready to go. Uh, bearings are all new. It's, it's an absolute dime piece. Um, ready for another 50 years. This, this bike's 50 years old. <laughs> so to find one that's, that's this nice, good luck. Uh, there's just not many out there and the guys who have them usually don't sell them. We're only selling it because this is how we fund the museums. We, uh, museum's been closed for, for six weeks now. Mon money's tight, we have no income from the museum, yet we have all the overhead from it. I'm sure other people uh, are in similar positions out there. So 
But this took six months, and I have all the receipts right here. Seven months. Seven months. Five thousand nine hundred and thirteen dollars is what we spent rebuilding this bike in, in parts, labor, outsourced labor, and the paint job. So plus the cost of the bike. So um, our investments somewhere around eight grand plus six months of our or seven months of our time. So. Um, They'll have a reasonable reserve on it, but we can't give this one away. It's way too nice. Now, I've, I've ridden 2,500 bikes in the last four years. Check out our channel, four and a half, five years. You can tell when you get on a bike when it's balanced properly and all the bearings are new and, it, and the top end is tight. It just runs and it's car rated perfectly. This is as good as you're ever going to get a 71 D DT1. It's, it's, it rides and runs like a brand new motorcycle. So it is, uh, it is um, Good Friday, the day that... Uh, Jesus uh, was nailed to the cross 2,020 years ago at 9 a.m. this morning. At 3 o'clock this afternoon is when he, he passed away, died on the cross for our sins. So the day that uh, light defeated darkness. So um, hope everybody has a nice Easter weekend. Um, this is one way to get back to basics, get back to nature and social distance. Get on your vintage bike and go for a ride. Uh, you won't see any of these parked in front of psychologist's office. That's for damn sure. That's such a big smile on your face. You're gonna think you're crazy. Good luck, God bless America. Stay safe, everybody. Happy.